myself find a good writing routine. I wanted to do Ursula K. Le Guin. Attempting to do her routine. So Le Guin writes for, what, five hours? That's a long time. I really like this routine. It worked really well for me. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am Brenda and this is Reading By My Shelf. For those of you who are new or don't know, I am a writer and a reader and I am working on my first sci-fi novel. In order to help myself find a good writing routine now that my college class uh, adventure is over, I am going to try out different routines by some famous authors. And today I wanted to do Ursula K. Le Guin. So for those of you who are not familiar with Ursula K. Le Guin, she is a sci-fi author. She was born in 1929 in Berkeley, California. She attended Radcliffe College and did graduate work at Columbia University. She had three children and four grandchildren. She died peacefully in her home in January of 2018. Ursula K. Le Guin is a celebrated author whose body of work includes 23 novels, 12 volumes of short stories, 11 volumes of poetry, 13 children's books, five essay collections, and four works of translation. Her work has earned her six Nebula Awards, seven Hugo Awards, and SFWA's Grand Master, along with Penn and many other awards. And in 2016, she joined the short list of authors to be published in their lifetimes by the Library of America. With an, such a prolific author, I was really curious to see how she managed to write so many great works. And so I did a little research and found that she stuck to a pretty strict schedule. She would wake up at about 5.30 in the morning and lie there for a little while and just think. At 6.15, she would have a large breakfast. Then by 7.15, she would get to work writing. She would have lunch at noon, then reading or music from about one to three. And then from three to five, she would either work on correspondence or clean. Between five and eight, she would make dinner and eat. And then after 8 p.m., she has been quoted as saying, I tend to be very stupid and we won't talk about this. <laughs> so. I take that to mean that she just loafed around and, and didn't do much of anything at all. Today, I am attempting to do her routine. I woke up at 5.30, which is actually my normal time that I wake up anyway, and then had some breakfast at 6.15 and took a quick shower and got ready. And it is now about 7 a.m. and I am going to get started writing and I plan to write until noon. So I will probably do this in little chunks, maybe 20 to 30 minutes at a time, then take like a five to 10 minute break and then get back to writing again until noon. Uh, I think this is actually gonna be a good routine for me since I seem to do my best writing in the mornings. And then also I really like that she allows a chunk of time for reading. I certainly could also <laughs> do for a, a designated time to clean the house because you know, some things just fall behind on the priority list. And I usually eat dinner around five anyway. So uh, this is going to be a routine that is not too far off from my regular day-to-day 
and I figured that was a good place to start. I think it is more realistic for me to find a routine that is already on my own schedule. Unlike Brandon Sanderson, from what I understand, his schedule is that he sleeps until 10 or 11, wakes up, and then writes until three or four when the kids come home and then he spends the evening with family has dinner and then when they go to bed at around 10 or 11 then he writes again until two or three in the morning that is not realistic for me i am a early riser and i go to bed early because you know I'm old and <laughs> I don't stay up late anymore. Anyway, not to say we won't try that routine, but probably not. I also wanted to mention or show you that I got this little journal. I thought it would be a good place to make my notes and mark milestones. So I just made a little for each 5K words that I write. And I've started making some notes about my next scene. I thought that this cute little thing would be easy to take with me wherever I go and write. And so, yeah, we'll see how it works out. And I uh, will keep you posted. But uh, yeah, I think that's it. I want to, I want to get started. It's getting later. Stick around and let's see how this goes. So I've been writing for hmm, 30 minutes. So Le Guin writes for what, five hours? That's a long time. I don't know that she has any particular word count, uh, but I'm aiming for 1500 today. We'll see. So in this section, Alice, the main character and her sidekick are, they are headed to the library, the underground library to hopefully uncover some secrets about these aliens and uh, the beasts that kind of roam freely on this planet. And uh, I have some ideas about how I'm going to do that, but I'm also considering the best way to reveal the secrets, like timing wise and pacing wise. I don't want to give away too much. I'm only, you know, 15,000 words in. <laughs> so I want to save some of the big reveals obviously for act three. So yeah, I'm working on that. But again, like I keep saying, this is a zero draft. So I'm just kind of gonna let it happen and worry about all the, uh, all that finer detail stuff later on. I think I'm going to, like I said, I need to set a timer for like 30 minutes and then take a break, five or 10 minutes. Uh, I can't write for five straight hours. Keep posted how it's going, how far I get. So I'm at a little over 15,000. So I'm hoping to get to like 17,000 words or just under, fingers crossed. dog. Come here, boo.
It's been about an hour and I've written about 500 words, which is pretty good. I reread just a little of what I had and I thought, you know, I just, just was kind of wondering, exploring like kind of how I wanted to approach uh, the scene. And I think that I've figured it out and I'm happy with it. So we are going with it. So I am at 16,000, about 16,200 words, hoping for another 800 or more. I mean, you know, <laughs> but it is, it's 1130 and I did take a little bit of a longer break than I wanted to because it's really beautiful out today. So me and the dogs went on a walk and um, just kind of enjoyed the sun. So now I need to focus and I'm, I'm probably going to push to uh, 1230 or one o'clock, I think if it's going well, if it's going well, maybe longer. I don't want to stop too soon, but I do want to stick to her routine. So I'll probably, yeah, I'll probably stop at like 12.30, 12.45 and then um, eat and then read for a bit. And then I do have some household like chore things that I wanted to do. So yeah, let's go. So it's one o'clock. I wrapped it up for the day. It went so good today. <laughs> I was so happy with how it went. I really like this routine. <laughs> I really like this routine. It worked really well for me. Although, you know, normally I uh, get up at 5.30 and I train from you know, seven or so until about eight. And then I shower and eat and then I start working. So not sure how I would um, situate that because I'm definitely more of a workout in the morning first thing person. I don't know that I would have the same motivation and energy to do it later in the day. But you know, I think it's something that I could change a little bit and still have it work for me. So maybe do my workout shower, eat, and then write from say 9, 9.30 until lunchtime. It's a little bit less writing time than what she does, uh, but that's okay. 
because then I could always write again in the afternoon or what have you and then read and you know maybe leave out the housework <laughs> yeah I don't know but it's freaking beautiful here today it's like 75 degrees and sunny so we are in our short sleeves and just sitting or uh just taking a break walking through the trails writing wise i worked on the library scene where alice and xander trying to find some answers that setting is kind of fun and appealing to write so uh, I'm not even done with it. I have um, more, a lot more that I want to get in there. So this might be one of the longer or bigger chapters. I read back through a little bit of the last time Alice was in the library and uh, just to refresh myself. So yeah, that's it for now. new shelves yay i just put all the sci-fi over here and down here is writing and literature ref reference material and over here we have the lighting you know, fantasy 